All right, it is December 30th. Um, this is our last yard that we are treating with oxalic acid. This will be the third treatment. Uh, that means that these bees will be pretty much mite free. They're definitely broodless now. And so with this mite treatment, that ensures that we'll have next to zero mites in the spring, which will mean the nukes that we make when we split all these colonies down should be very healthy, very mite free, and should um, should be great bees in the spring. Um, and so just kind of full disclosure, the rest of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to splice together all the other yards that we have visited. So we're going to kind of Quentin Tarantino it. This is the last yard that we're treating. And so we'll just put the other ones in there. Um, it's not going to be edited or anything fancy like that. But if you care to watch the video, we're going to go to all of our other yards, Howell, Ada, Kentwood, Grand Rapids, and we're going to take a look and see who's alive. Um, not everybody is alive. So we'll take a look at some of those and we'll look at the breeders, make sure that the breeders, the untreated breeders are still alive. Um, but if you care to watch or, or see any of that, um, keep watching. And that's what the rest of this video is going to be. But it's nothing super exciting, but just kind of an update with where we're at uh, as of December 30th, 2024. Um, if you're interested in buying any of our nukes, our nukes will be going online the first at kobeapiaries.com. You can reserve your nukes there. A um, couple options over winter and spring. Um, one thing to consider uh, if you, while you're considering which nukes to buy, um, we do have our breeders are still alive. So you'll see that in this video if you decide to watch. Um, and so perhaps our spring nukes will be F1s from these untreated breeders as long as they continue to make it through uh, and, and are, are able to be grafted from in the spring. So something to consider. But anyway, um, overall, uh, we like where we're at. Um, and then if you have any uh, additional questions, feel free to reach out to us, post in the comments, send us an email, whatever. Um, but just wanted to give you all a heads up that the, the rest of this video is just going to be splicings of the rest of the yards that we visited. No fancy editing or any of that, don't really care. Um, so if you care to watch, enjoy. All right, it is December 28th, 2024. It's 52 degrees and we're in Howell today. Um, I hope the audio is captured. The bees are going bananas, taking advantage of this nice weather and getting some cleansing flights. I'm probably gonna be covered in bee poop. But we came down today to do one final oxalic acid treatment, um, just to clean up any mites that we may have missed in our fall treatments. That way we can ensure as mite of free nukes as possible in the spring. Um, so we will be selling nukes in the spring. Uh, we are opening reservations on the 1st, so 1-1-2025. Um, if you wanna purchase bees through us, uh, you can pick up at this Howell location if you live in the area, but as you can tell the bees are looking great um, We did bring some BSH genetics down into this yard So we have some Harbo queen line genetics as well as some Corey Stevens queen line genetics um, So bees are doing great uh, Everyone's up to weight. No one's getting fed. No one got fed in the fall. No one's getting any emergency sugar or patties or anything like that and everyone is still doing very well on stores um, as you can tell they're still super super populated however we did lose one colony and we are not quite sure what happened and it's actually this triple right here so we did open it up it is a confirmed dead out the queen was in there so they did not swarm it was not a queen failure there was some cat brood, there was a small cluster, an insane amount of honey. Um, we did treat with Apigard and the card was chewed. So that leads us to believe that um, the collapse happened post Apigard. So don't know if it's just we got the fall treatment on too late. Um, despite all those bees being on that box, they are dead. Um, no mites on the dead bees, no mites on the bottom board. Um, so it's just one of those anomalies, one of those things that can't tell you for sure what happened. I would suspect viruses and die out. Um, it's possible pesticide, but I don't know. Not sure. I wouldn't do anything else differently. Um, nothing that I can do to prevent that one. 
but the genetics are gone so we don't have to worry about it so this is the front row everybody else here is confirmed alive as you can probably tell but overall looking good we'll take just one loss um, i suspect that if they're still alive right now we will see them in the spring but anyway just thought we'd give you guys an update it's a beautiful december day in michigan we don't get too many of these and just seeing the bees fly um, it's just nice to see so if you're interested in ordering nukes through us or have any questions about our bees or our operation or nuke pickup in the spring feel free to reach out we'd be happy to help um, in the meantime i hope you have a good rest of your winter and i hope your bees are doing just as well as ours are doing and i hope that we're able to capture all these bees on this video and the audio it's quite insane Even Uma is out here helping. She's actually looking for deer poop. But, all right, well, we will see you all next time. It's December 30th, 2024. Uh, it's about noon. It's around 40 degrees 40 42 degrees somewhere in there um, but we just came out we did another round of oxalic acid as you can tell by the white uh, powder on the front of the entrances um, and we're checking for proof of life in this in this yard um, so far it looks like everybody is alive there are a couple that are smaller than I would have liked this is one of those but they're still alive in there um, others are doing very well um, but so far everybody here is alive look at that colony that one's doing really well um, but they're just starting to fly do some cleansing flights all the nukes are alive they're a little bit lighter than we had liked this is an untreated colony so this scored a four on the Harbo essay um, so she has not had any treatment at all um, this whole year. So the last time that she had been treated was when she was a new queen back in the fall of 2023. So she went through all 2024 with no treatments and they are still very much alive. Um, but as I was saying, some of these nukes, um, they are small, a little light, but they should be fine we do have some really cold weather coming up um, so that's a little concerning but we'll see how they do so far so good but just wanted to do these are for me as much as they are for you so I can refer back to dates and um, success rates of various yards throughout the years but anyway um, that's this is the main Grand Rapids yards so we're gonna go check Ada and Kentwood in just a bit. All right, so we are still in Grand Rapids. Um, we are at the infamous, but I always say top of the hill if you watch our videos. And so we're treating these colonies, as you can see, with oxalic acid as well. These ones were not flying because when we got up here, they were still in the shade. So that was nice. Um, and then we have this colony here. This is one of the USDA poline breeders, so you can see that's not getting treated. It's still alive. This is another USDA poline breeder. Um, it's not getting treated, and it's still alive. They've never been treated. Um, not a USDA breeder. And then this is our last USDA breeder, um, also not getting treated, and it's still alive. But all of these colonies up here are still alive, even obviously the ones that got treated. So it's looking like we will be able to graft from our pole line breeders in the spring so it's very possible that um, if you get spring nukes from us uh, it could come with an F1 pole line breeder as long as that queen's still in there 
and she didn't get replaced in the fall, like supersedure or something. But our fingers are crossed. It would be cool if we could offer F1s from these pole line breeder queens in the spring. So we're at our Kentwood yard now, and as you can tell, everyone's looking good here. Even the little nukes, something took the mouse guard off, probably a raccoon or a skunk or something. Um, this was the smallest nuke. Looks like they're still alive. Just obviously smaller than the rest. And here's some of the bigger colonies. They're just starting to fly here. That one looks a little concerning with the lack of activity. I mean, there's bees coming out. So maybe they're just waking up a little bit slower. But, looks like everyone's alive here. So we'll treat them with oxalic acid and they'll be nice and cleaned up. All right, it is now, oh, getting close, it's almost three o'clock. So now this is our last yard, Ada. And all these colonies are alive, except for, see a lot of people would freak out about all those dead bees, but that's actually a good sign because that means the live bees have moved those bees out. So they're actually alive. And all these ones are alive, so all these, full-size colonies are alive and all these nukes are alive except this one and this was one of the smaller nukes that we were sending in and here's the queen so we know that's not why they died and you'd have to take my word on it but all these bees have no mites on them and then here's some more of the cluster, and there's some heater bee butts. And then if we take a peek down in here, here's some more of the cluster. And as I pulled frames, more bees fell. So the cluster was actually pretty decent. But they died, if you're observing. There's no honey on this frame. There's a little bit of honey over here but there's none in their proximity. On the back side, more bee butts, but no honey on that frame. And if we look down in there, there's no honey next to those bees. So, but above them, this would have been the frame right above them, see, taking it right out of that box. And you can see that there's open nectar, there's honey, and there's capped honey on these frames, but they just isolation, starvation. So they starved to death despite having honey. So they were, they have plenty of honey in here. They just didn't move up or they didn't move the honey down to where the cluster was. And because these colonies are not insulated, they cluster pretty tight, especially when it gets cold. So how could we have prevented this? Well, we could have removed all those frames that had little to no honey on it. But when we were in here inspecting last, most of those were brood frames. There was still an insane amount of brood, as you can probably guess with the number of bees. Um, so the only thing really that we could have done differently, um, besides feed, 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 we could have, but we don't feed, um, is insulate this box. If this box would have been insulated, the internal temperature inside this hive would have been much, much warmer. They wouldn't have had to cluster as tightly, and then perhaps they might have been able to move up and get some of this honey and open nectar that was available to them, but they were just too cold um, to do so. So this is our second loss. We have a loss in Howell. And this nuke is our second loss. I think there's another deep, triple deep in Grand Rapids that will end up dying. Um, but overall, I think we went into winter with 98 or 99 colonies. And so far we have two dead, two and a half dead. So we'll take it. Um, this one kind of sucks 
just because um, I felt like these ones were going to make it. But Oh well, you win some and you lose some. But the bees are not flying now because it's starting, the sun's starting to set and it's starting to get cold again. So there's just some that are flying. But anyway, so that is our December 28th and 30th update. Um, so we'll keep you posted as we get closer to spring, but we should have plenty of nukes available.